brief overview of what's going on. This is how we regularly run the meeting. Um, let's see, do, do. Okay, so uh, twenty-third. Oh, crap! I forgot. I can't meet tomorrow. I need to tell section. Okay. Um, okay. So we go through and we get the uh, list of everything that want, everybody wants to talk about, and then we go through and we sort of talk about them one by one. Hey, we have Hashim too. Great. Let's go on Hashim. Hello, everybody. Right. Okay. So yeah, let's just go through and and we'll. Okay. So let's yeah, actually first we have uh let's just talk about the fact that we have a release. So. Uh, so finally, um, after many months of, uh, <laughs> of me saying that it will happen soon, we finally got the release out. Um, so that's live. Um, and there's a little news page here cause the change log, the change log was pretty dense. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So I went ahead and I made this news page, um, that kind of does the, the highlights here. Um, and, uh, yep. And then we also have sort of this, this, you know, stuff that we want to get done before the beta release. I think there's issues for some of these other ones, uh, you know, maybe just things we've talked about and in, in, in general. Um, so these are good. Uh, these types of things are good, good things to work on if you see the issues for them. Um, because, you know, those are sort of our priorities, right? And uh, to get to beta uh, for the next, you know, big release there um, in between, in between, uh, this, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get these issues done, you know, as we progress through the next few releases. So, all right. So, um, okay. Uh, and yeah, you guys can check out this news page. So I'll just, you know, this is all stuff that you've, you've all seen already probably. So, but there you go. Um, cool. So, oops. All right. So Shah, what do you, what do you got that, that you want to talk about today? Uh, I think I finished the tests for the um, data frame source. So, uh, yeah, I'm running into a small stupid error while trying to execute them. So I was hoping you could have a look at that. Uh, I also thought about um, the way we like to implement uh, videos as a source, mm -hmm. because I saw that you'd made an issue. And yep, that's true. had that. uh, I had, an, I had like an idea regarding that, so okay. yeah, that. All right. All right, uh, Nitesh. Actually, I have made a new PR uh, regarding the download UTC. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got a yeah. bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah, I have. So, I obviously have some work to do to go through all these these PRs. Um, and I think the the first thing that I'm doing is is you know I'm going to go merge these models and then the uh, and then that this guy. I think yeah. Okay, I've done a review. It looks like I'm I'm now ready to. Yeah, uh, I have solved solved some of the review part, but uh, I think two three points I would I want to discuss. Okay. Yeah. And the light GBM and S2 model are still in a queue. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And that's my next, that's my next priority. So I'll probably get to that, um, maybe tonight. Um, so, uh, let's see. Okay. Download on Pack Archive. Uh, yeah. I want to get those merged. The main thing that I need to do is, uh, you know, uh, I think I need to combine them and then throw them in their own PR, uh, or I need to combine them and then put them in a CI run so that I can copy the log file from the CI run. 
I'm not sure. We it's basically the the issue comes down to what are we doing with that stupid pinning log file again? Um, you know, and how do we how do we make that switch as we're introducing new models? Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, we may we may just be able to uh, we may be able to sort of de detect the diff there and, and then pass the test if there's or skip those models if they're being added in the test or, or in this diff. Uh, we'll we'll take a look at that. All right, okay. Because um, we don't want this to be a problem going forward. Um, okay. Um, so Sanjuman, do you, do you have anything that you want to talk about today, or are you just uh, you just want to sort of hang out and, and see what's going on? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, so uh, yeah, I'm like this is the first meeting I'm here. So yeah, I just pushed uh, like uh, only one PR like recently for the force uh, string and key in uh, like uh, yeah the added force key to be string or ninety in it. So I'm just getting the LGTM error and uh, LGTM uh, like check is being failed and so I'm working on it. Oh and yeah, I'm, you know I wouldn't worry about that. I can't figure out what the hell's wrong with yeah. that. I mean, if you want to go fix that, that's great. But I think they have some kind of. Uh... I think they changed their format from what I can tell of their config file, um, and now okay. it seems to be failing. So I'd, I'd, this is not a priority for your pull request here, and I also can't figure out how to turn this off. So <laughs> this is probably something that we need okay. to, uh, let's see, we probably, probably something that we need to, to figure out how to stop this from, from popping up because it can't, uh, let's see, where did that go? Yeah, this extraction is failing because it doesn't understand this key here it doesn't understand uh no what is it what is it on about requirements extended from coverage and so on yeah i know it filed the directory yeah this has a it's a separate issue with the config file itself and i mean if you want to go yeah. fix that that's great um but i don't know exactly uh I, it's you don't need to do it as a part of that pr if that's the only thing that's failing it's only recently started to pop up on here, so I'm not okay. sure what's going on. So, I'm also working on the uh, adding the Dart model plugin for the time series data. Uh, the what? That, uh, I saw that issue is open. Uh, the, uh, the adding the Dart model plugin for time series data. Okay. I'm working on it, so I'll just I will make an make a issue soon. Great. I'll make a PR soon. Awesome. Okay, uh, Hashim. Oh, we have Sudhancha to agree. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, I wanted to discuss two of the issues that I was interested in. Um, <clears throat> uh, one of them uh, seemed to be inactive, even though someone commented on it. Uh, and I'm not sure if I should uh, go ahead with it. Yeah, let's uh, check that out. Which for 960. 960. Uh, the Orion model. Mm, let's see. I don't think we've heard this from this person in a while. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think this person has been active. Well, let's see. I mean, I guess that was only 12 days ago. Um, OK. Well, they did make a poor request. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. So I think that per the, what, what do our guidelines say? Is it, uh, let's read the, let's read the guidelines we came up with like last year or something. So. All right. Uh, 
uh, draft pull request within seven days. Okay, so that means that, yes, it's up for grabs. So All right. you can say that you've started working on it, and this is probably a good thing for everybody to see. But so, so you know, this is the stuff we came up with this around last year. Um, and we basically said, right, you know, it, don't don't worry about asking to work on something because that just ends up with everybody asking to work on things, right? Um, so just say you're going to work on it, and we'll assume that you're working on it until the seven days after we saw your, right? So he's commented 12 days ago. We haven't heard anything yeah. from him, and he hasn't opened a uh, work in progress or a draft pull request, right? Uh, so, you know, you can open a pull request as a draft, or you can prefix it with WIP, and, you know, that'll just let, let you know, let us all know that oh. it's not ready, ready yet, right? Um, but it lets other people know that you're working on it, and it shows them, you know, what the work you've done is. And then, um, you know, we'll basically assume that, We'll assume that you're working on that thing unless we see no activity for 21 days, um, in which case, you know, we'll assume that you're not working on it anymore. And then, then you know, somebody might take the work that you did in that pull request and add you as, list you as a co-author. Um, and that's what this mentions. Um, and, and you know, that way we, we maintain, we keep chugging along on these things. So, yeah, I would say that's up for grabs then. Um, so, let's see. Um, and I'll comment back on there. So, and and we didn't hear back from him in a few days. It seemed like so. I think that sounds reasonable. Uh, where'd that go? Uh, it was nine fifty or nine sixty. Okay. Per the uh, guidelines, uh, yes, this is up for grabs. All right, cool. All right. Um, okay, good. We're recording. All right, so let's say we'll work on. Ryan model. All right. Uh. All right. So about the model, uh, I was studying it, and uh, they uh, let you uh, select between different pipelines and uh, along with the other parameters. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I could uh, uh, make it so that we could. Uh, and, you know, uh, choose uh, different pipelines uh, through our model. So do we want that or do we just want a basic model? Uh, okay, so let's, let's yeah, we'll talk about that in a second then. Because um, there's more to say in that. Um, okay, so. Uh, let me see. Okay, so anything else from you, Hashim? Uh, yeah, there was another issue that uh, I wanted to discuss. Okay, which one? Uh, it's 868. Uh, at first, I thought I do get uh, what is expected, but uh, after seeing the length of the issue in the labels, uh, I think I'm missing something here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll talk about this. Um, I think we talked about this recently.
Okay. Uh, and then Sudhanshu, how's it going with you? Uh, yeah, it's going great. How Good. is it going for you? It's going. Yeah, I'm very happy we got that release out. Uh, so yeah, good. we had a release in a long time. Yeah, it's been like 10 months. Way too long. Yep. All right. So, um, so I see you have uh, this guy up, and uh, so, so yeah, we talked so about fix up stuff. Yeah. Yes, some of the commits like I have fixed. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, and and the goal is just to get it, you know, clean. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be yep. immaculate, right? Um, so, but we'll go over that and we'll take a look. So, anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, no, just DPS. Okay. Okay, let's see. Did we already move? Okay, yeah. Okay, great. All right, cool. Anything that we missed from anyone? All right, okay, let's start. Uh, John, just one quick thing uh, yep. about the issue that Hashem mentioned. Uh, we'll require a time series uh, as a source for that, right? Uh, okay. So, are you talking about this Orion model? Yeah, 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 yeah. This so, one. so, are you talking about like a source, like a data source, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. Uh, um, I mean, at the, so data source wise, like this would be, you know, just like any other source, um, you know, so a record would usually be one, you know, like it'd be one entry associated with, you know, that would have a timestamp somewhere in there usually. Um, were you thinking otherwise? And if so, then, you know, it would be good to hear why, because it might be an edge case that we need to hit. Uh, I'm asking, like, uh, like, does a panda, uh, what I'm asking is, do our records work normally for something like a pandas.series as well, or do they require a separate data source? Um, uh, can you give me an example? Uh, like, suppose we had a pandas.series, um, Suppose we had a panda series, okay? So if we use that as a record, um, as a data source, would records be able to handle it? Like, would each sort of entry in it be treated as a single record? I mean, let's see. Let's go, let's go look. Yeah, all of the data types in a series are the same, right? Right. Yeah, okay. In that case, um, I mean, I don't... I mean, you could make a record with one feature out of a series, right? Like a single feature record out of a series. But you wouldn't make... I mean, I guess you could make a record that has all the same data type out of a series uh a series doesn't strike me as something that 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 translates directly to a record you know um i mean it could right uh but i think it's more of um, i don't know do you see do you see an, an instance where you might want to do that or is this more of just thinking about it right you do you have an example where you were thinking this might be something that happens uh, not really. Once I have a concrete example, I'll get back to you on this. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I think it would be good to think about this, you know. So let's, uh, let's make a note of that. All right. Okay. Um, so... Uh, how would you phrase this? So something about... Um, 
records and series. Okay, so how would a record or a pandas dot series map to a DF record? Um, uh, example to follow offline. Okay, so um, let's see. So back to this issue running test with data frame source. So let's check that out. Uh, do you want to share your screen? Yeah, uh, I'll do that. Right, so the issue I'm running into is whenever I try and run this uh, test underscore data frame file, I run into this thing called no module named DFML, DFML source. Uh, okay, open that file. So, uh, I mean, so where did you get that line six from? I think like that's how I would, how, how I would access it, right? Because it's stored in DFML, DFML source. I think you want dots there. Um, and it's actually going to be just DFML.source.dataframe. Right, because we're going, we're going, and actually you can just import it from DFML. That's it? Well, yeah. So, so let's take a look at this, right? And understand that. Look at look at where's your directory tree, right? So we have dffml. So your your the source code is checked out to the directory that one that says so home and in, in in the bar here, we see home, we right. see dffml, we see dffml, and we see source. So the first dffml is is that is the root of the Git repo, right? So the top level directory in the Git repo. The next one is actually the DFML module and all the Python codes that reside in the module. And then within that is the source directory. And within that is this file called dataframe.py. Um, and so when we're thinking about like importing from Python, we're importing from the, the second DFML directory. Um, you know, so the first one is the Git repo and everything in the Git repo. The second one is actually the Python module that's, that we, you know, that lives within our Git repo. Um, and, and then within that, we're looking in the source directory, which is a module because it has that init.py file in there. And then within that, we're looking in data frame source. Right. So all I would need is, yeah, yeah. Or, right. or. So so this is this is correct. Now the thing is, in this case, we're actually gonna just do it. So when we put things in the main package, we can import them just by name, um, and that's you see on line four what's happening. So you can just add that data frame source. You can say comma data frame source on line four. So you don't even need to do that whole line six there. Oh, all right. Because you're, you're. I think the the thing that's new here for you is is the fact that you're you're working with the main package. Yeah. So. I'll and you're used to working with the plugins, right? And so when we're working with the main package, yeah. it's slightly different. Right. All right. Cool. So Do you want to go ahead and run this and, and show us what happens? Maybe. I guess it works. All right, okay. So um, nothing happened. Yeah, so so try do Python 3.8 dash M unit test. And then dash V. So this is verbose, so show me the names of the tests I'm running, and then, then you can give it the file. And so this will run all the tests in that file. Uh, hmm, let's see. So data frame source line, tw so on line 12, let's see what's happening. 
This is line 12. Okay, so let's take a look at the data frame source itself. Um, that's the context. Okay, so go all the way down. All right, because we want to see the data frame source. Okay, so, so config equals data frame source config. Feature calls, prediction calls. Uh, that's weird. Um, uh, hmm. Uh, flip back. Flip back to your your test and your and then your your log your error log here. Unexpected keyword argument data frame. Huh. Well, you can try instantiating a data frame source config, maybe. So instead of passing just the data frame to the source, uh, the the source um um what is it called uh, constructor, the init method. So do data frame source. So just copy paste data frame source and say data frame source config, and then put it at the very front of line thirteen. So data frame source. Yeah. So grab so data. So just. Source. Do you want this to be data frame source config? Yeah, yeah. Just do that, and then put data frame source and yeah, tr tr put data frame source in front of that, right? And so you're gonna pass a data frame source config to a data frame source. Oh, all right. Yeah. Now I get what you mean. Yeah. So this is this is uh, I mean this is what it should be doing you know transparently but apparently something's weird so let's find out and then obviously we need to import that data frame source config we need to go import that data frame source config sorry Um, uh, this is very interesting. Um, I don't know. Have you spelled everything correctly? I would say that is probably your next problem. Feature calls. I'll, I'll try and see if this happens. Why don't you try to debug this a little bit and then, and then reach out if you're having issues. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, uh, and see if, that's pretty if odd. There's it's pretty odd error. <laughs> some spelling error. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, mean, meanwhile, should I just make a pull request? Uh, yeah, throw up a pull request, make... yeah. Yeah, uh, all right. Okay, great. Um, all right, so let's see. And then you want to talk about video support? Yeah, about that, uh, I figured that uh, we had two options, right? As you mentioned in uh, the issue, we had two options. We could either um, implement each record as a single video, or we could have frames as videos. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, frames as records. So I figured that it did, uh, for the user, it would be better if we could uh, implement each record as a single video, because it would make sort of it will make it easier for the user to supply multiple uh, videos as input. Mm -hmm. Whereas compared to a frame by frame uh, uh, records is frame, it will be difficult for uh, the, it will be easier for us because we don't have to go through that uh, frame division. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned again, they should be turned into the problem of deciding which frame belongs to which video. So. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, you know, yeah, then we need like, a, yeah, I think that's, that's okay. So, so are you, uh, is that, is that the update on this? Do you have more that you want to say? Or I think next step is probably, you know, go explore how that works, um, sort of from a model yeah. perspective, right? Yeah, exactly. So the, I'm guessing the way we implement video support is creating a separate data source or something for uh, videos. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, so let's see. Let's look at the way that this is right now. So I think Sock Shaman has implemented support for, um, you know, images. Um, and he had that directory source, which, you know, reads from a directory and reads image files from a directory. Um, and then he has a config loader that, that loads. So a config loader loads a given file format. Um, so like a JSON or YAML or, you know, an image file like PNG, uh, it takes the bytes and it converts them, you know, into their, into their format in memory. Right. Um, so, uh, you probably need a config loader rather than a source and then you can use it you can look at the way that the existing uh tutorials are written like the flower 17 one and stuff i think that uses the directory source um and yeah you can take a look at that to figure out okay how do i um you know how do i um use the config loader with the source and i mean it's basically just going to come down to okay like how do i load that video um and split it into frames, right? right. So, yeah, so that's that's like the crux of the entire operation, right? Yeah. First, accept in, taking the videos input and then figuring out how to split it. Yeah, frames. and I think the, the other thing is, so let's take a look at those config loaders. So. So the other thing is, right, videos are encoded, just like, you know, pictures and videos are both like encoded in certain ways. Um, Okay, let's see. What did he do? Yeah, okay, so he just read it into this. He did the CV2 IM decode. Um, and that's basically the entire thing. So let's find out what this is. And where's the official talks? Reads an image from a buffer in memory. Can you please tell me the return value? I mean, God. Let's see. Right about. Oh, yeah, there we go. Show file and returns it. Okay, it returns the matrix. Great. So what? What is okay? It's a matrix, but of what is it? Just You need to, uh, okay, so what I'm doing here, in case it's not obvious, is is we're trying to figure out, like, what, is this still encoded or not, or has it been decoded, you know? Um, what what state is this, right? Okay, I guess this is image decode, so it's probably decoding it, isn't it? Okay, well, that, was, that would be a safe assumption. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. So whatever kind of format the video is in, we'll want the config loader to load that format, right? So looking at image config loaders uh, yeah sure. so i'm guessing i'll talk to i'll talk a bit to suction about this yeah read, uh, read, why don't you read that image config loader source i mean it's short right so this this yeah, is this I'll is the entire up. thing right so um and then look at the tests um now the one thing is that uh you have a you have a video here and i think suction was generating a video you might want to use the uh uh, funny um, file formats. Notice this. This is like the 
the video that people use. Okay, okay yeah. So this, wait, where is that? It's like a open source movie that they created to test video formats um, or something. <laughs> they, um, they, yeah. So. Download. Okay, great. So the, the cache download function is going to be your friend here. Um, so, and then. Could I mention config numbers? Looks like the. Okay. Um, cache download and this. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, all right. So, Natesh, or anything else, Shaw? Nope, I'm not. Okay, great. So, Natish, we got the cache down with Impact Archive PR. Um, I think I'm going to review this one offline, and then these need to be merged. I think I reviewed it once. Do you have anything that we need to review not offline? Let me check. Do you have anything you wanted to talk about in the meeting? No. no. Okay, yeah, I think this is probably an offline review. Only these two points. Okay, cool. Okay, and then you push changes. Um, okay, so why are we moving the on-air method? Did you read the the comment that was below it that you saw? Um, okay, so where does it come from? I don't know if there's an like, exception of permission denied. So let's set that on here. Okay. Yeah, I saw that stupid thing on Windows where it does, it keeps doing yeah, that. Yes, yeah, one, one of the so, very common problems, right? So. I don't understand why it does that. That's ridiculous. Um, okay. Yeah, so maybe we, maybe we RM tree and then we catch exceptions on RM tree. And then, so uh, try to unpack, then try to RM tree. And then try, and then and then if you catch an exception in RM tree, you know raise an exception from the exception they just got raised. Um, so, does that make sense? Yes, yes, and I have done that part, right? Well, uh, you're except not... exception. Let's see. Actually, yeah, and, okay. and, and under this line. Oh yeah, so. Okay, but you still need to raise exception. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, you did. Yeah. Great. Um, yes. There. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Cool. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to actually wait to merge this until a little bit later so that I can do some final checks here. Okay. Great. Thanks. Um Thanks. Oh, and then if you can make sure that those PRs are up to date with master, then that would be great. Um, let's see. And that way I can just merge them tonight. Okay, so great. Anything else, Santosh? Oh, no, no. Oh, actually, I didn't find a template for a GSOC, right? The link that was given, it's not working. Mm, okay, look. I bet they've updated it uh, to 2020. Uh, yeah. 
Not, not this one. The link I have shared in the chat. See. Mm, in a fifth point, write your application. Uh, this is the application that's linked here. Uh, wait a minute. So what is going on with that link? It looks like the exact same link to me. Okay, no, it's been moved under 2019 so we just need to update that website this link is correct so if you look on this this page here um, that's mm -hmm. our page and it says template this is the same link that you're looking for but corrected um, so this is what you're looking for so I'll send you this both links here so and I'll put it in getter actually Uh, anything else? No, no, thanks. Okay. Uh, can you report that to them? Um, or I can, I can shoot that. To, let's just shoot that to Terry. Um, so, no, there's not. Okay, I will. Let's see. Where's their website? Okay, it's right here. Where is that? Um, 2020, do they have a new template in here? No. Oh, 2020 is last year. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, it's this year. What was it? It was... Where was the link that you sent? So it's apply. That's on the index page. So. No. Okay. Yeah, so we just need to do this. Great, now it should be, they should uh, fix that. So good, good catch. What's your GitHub handle? Nitesh, what's your GitHub handle? Oh, it's Nitesh, Nitesh Yadav 585. Nitesh 585, just Nitesh 585. Yeah. Uh, Good catch. All right. Um, so it's a uh, filling link in on GSSC website. Um, so for location or project template. Project proposal template. Okay. And I'll put the links in here. Oops. All right. Okay. So record as string. Uh, anything else, Natush? 
No, no, no. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's see. So, a string. <clears throat> uh, um, okay, so we don't want to do an optional parameter here. Records require a string. Um, so, or records require a key. Okay. Um, uh, and it looks like okay. Where did I word it? This. Oh, is this? Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay, yes, this is not, uh, excuse me. Um, so I, uh, I just wrote that quickly. That was not, uh, not exactly what we wanted here. So, um, so we really wanted to just do the, you know, what exists, right? Um, and rarely will we actually comment out stuff and commit the commented out stuff uh, because git sort of you know git itself will save what the changes were so if we wanted to delete something and we wondered what it used to be we would just go look at the history and you can see the history of any given file with git log dash p and then the path to the file um so you know if we were like oh no what was that code instead of you know being like oh we didn't comment it out we don't have it we can just go look at the history of the file and look at what the code used to be um so if you do ever feel like commenting stuff out you should be just deleting it um and in this case so we'll, let's leave this and let's actually just do it um where's that yeah it should be here line 126 it should be stir key so um i misspoke with the um So I misspoke when I said self key. Um, it's actually data key. I, I didn't go look at it. I just posted the issue because um, I wasn't sure. I wanted to get it down on, on paper, so to speak. All right, any questions on this? or? OK, so like I will just keep the decorator function as it was previously. And uh, then like we'll, I will do it like uh, data of key equals to key, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, for a future. Comment out code, remove it, um, get log dash p path to file. Will show us removed code. Um, All right, so that Dart model program, did you want to talk about that at all? Uh, I'm currently working on it. I will, like, I will talk to you about it a bit later on. All right, sounds good. All right, okay, so working on the Orion model, so, or, all right, so should we enable pipelines? Um, okay, so this is something that just came up with the scikit models, but we should probably enable the scikit pipelines. Um, and I would say, let's just hold off on this. Um, if you want to do some exploration, that's great, um, but I think we need to look at like, how do we integrate the sidekit pipelines and stuff? You know, obviously the data flows would be sort of the ideal way to do this. Um, but, you know, it'd also be nice to have something that's more out of the box, uh, scikit -y. Um, and then this strikes me as, you know, going to be a similar type of situation. Although it would be 
yeah, it would be nice to get it as a data flow um, type of situation. But I don't know. Um, we'll have to take a look at this um, more in depth. Um, I think this sort of warrants this warrants uh, some in depth research on on what's going on here and, and how do we do the pipelines. So let's take a look at the Orion pipelines. Um, Uh, this is pretty pretty dang close to the. Uh, this is very very similar to our data flow syntax. Yeah, this is very similar to our data flow syntax. Very cool. Oh, yeah, this is super similar. All right, we're going to have to look at this more. Um, I don't know. I would say, why don't you, if you, if this is something you're interested in doing, um, you should sort of, uh, you should, we should sit, why don't you come to the meeting with, um, you know, your, your thoughts and background information and, and suggestions, um, because or else, uh, you know, well, we risk just diving into this too much, um, within the meeting here. So, um, in exploration. So, uh, yes, um, maybe not right now. Uh, if you are interested in doing this, uh, please, uh, please come meeting and provide uh, brief explanation um, of what the pipelines are in this context um, let's see uh, some backgrounds So on how they are used um, and possible. So anything you've considered um, when thinking about implementation. About how it could be implemented. All right, great. Uh, does that sound good? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, so what is the separate confidence and prediction in record issue about? All right, so yeah, where'd that issue go? Um, oh, yeah. All right, so I did, did we talk about it in this meeting recently? I feel like we talked about this in the meeting recently. This might be a reference that the recording because I don't want to go over it again if we just talked about it. Does anybody remember? I guess we should look at the notes, huh? Okay, September 22nd. Wow, well, okay, it feels like yesterday. Um, I would say... 
Okay, I think I think let's look at. I'm going to point you to the um, recording for September 22nd, and uh, and so and then let me let me let us know what you think either between now and next meeting or next meeting, um, and and then we'll discuss further. Um, you know, at the risk of repeating information. Um, so let's see. All right. Great. All right. So. Um, Let's, uh, uh, please look for more info, more info in uh, 2020, um, nine, recording, um, uh, Ask follow ups over between over getter or be a try maybe a maybe GitHub issue you know talking in the GitHub issue could be good um, or next meeting all right um, great so anything from anybody else. Anything we cover? We should have covered everybody's stuff by now. Uh, did any? Did we miss anything? Anything else from anyone? All right, great. So Sutanchu. Um, so let's look at this fix up stuff. So is there anything you wanted to say on this, or is it just sort of, um, you know, want to, you want to preface this with anything? Uh, so uh, I have actually fixed up all of the, like, like I actually went through all of the comments and and I looked like where we need to like uh, like merge two commits into one. Great. Like fix up some commits. So I I done that. So I feel like. Uh, that's the best we can do. Okay, cool. What? what? Uh... Yep, this is the one. All right, great. Fantastic. So, like, before I started, there were, like, uh, 175 commits. Perfect. And now, 167. Wow. Dang. <laughs> Not one All right, hey. Hey, that's good, though. Um, I mean, this is, this is just fantastic, because, you know, then we have each of these. So, let's just do... Um, um, where is master in relation to this? Um, okay, so let's rebase. Let's see, or wait, okay, no, this is good. Um, Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this offline just to be sure, but um, let's see. Sure. I'd probably just merge it. I think this is, you know, what we're looking for here. So, um, 
Yeah, we already had like made a tree base before. Huh? Yeah. 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 Um. Why does it keep doing that? Yeah, I don't know what it's doing right now. It's being weird. So I will go take a look at this. I think it's pretty much ready for merge. So. All right, great. Anything else you want to talk about? Cool. Uh, no, that's it. Cool. All right, well, we'll call it a meeting then. Anybody have any other opens? Yeah, when are we going to have a logo? A what? A logo. Oh, a logo. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Good point. Um, so uh, when whenever we pick one. <laughs> um, so so Yash told me that that he had. Um, let's 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 put some notes on this. Um, so um, Yash L has a one uh, logo. He's designed. Uh, he's not wild about it. Uh, he's not super excited about it. So he's he's sort of thinking if he can design something else. Um, obviously, if anybody wants to design a logo, uh, that is fantastic. Um, the um, you know, well, I basically. So my our our legal team said that you know I can basically just run stuff by them. Um, so and that was sort of it was a bit of a challenge to get to there, but but we luckily. Um, we we have that option um so basically you know if, if somebody wants to make a logo um you know i'm hoping i'm thinking that you know what we're going to try to do is um uh, uh let's see um so let me just phrase this like this so we would like to have a logo by beta by beta um Target time frame for this is end of summer. Um, so um, maybe maybe September. So maybe September time frame. Um, so Yash has one logo he's designed. Uh, he doesn't love it. Uh, he's going to try to come up with something else. Uh, so everyone else, uh, please come up with more options if you want. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, and John will, uh, we can pick from all options that we have, uh, in, you know, uh, late August, uh, uh, John will run them by the legal team. Uh, to check if they work or not. Great. Because uh, they might shoot it down for who knows what reason. Um, so let's try to have a few options. Um, we, you know, we can rank rank our favorite ones, and then uh, we'll run the our very most favorite one by the legal team. If they don't like it, we'll run the next favorite. Um, so that yeah, that's where we're at on that. Um, sound good? Yep, yep. Sounds cool. cool. Yeah, sweet. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna do it, then uh, uh, if you wanna come up with one or more options, that would be awesome. So yeah, cool. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks everyone, and uh, have a great rest of your evening or morning or wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys on Gitter next week. Bye. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.